Have you ever wanted to quickly implement your Streamlit application, but you're often bogged down by having to figure out what text to write, particularly the filler text that you use in your applications to fill up space, or even if you have to use like some cat pictures in order to kind of test out the layout of your use of the st.images? Well, if all of these are slowing you down in implementing your Streamlit app prototype, then I think that this Python library that I'm going to show you today will greatly help you in speeding up your app development process. And that Python library is called Streamlit Faker. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. So the Streamlit Faker library here was created by Arnold Merobel. And here you could install the library by doing pip install streamlit faker. And then you're going to see here that in only a few lines, you could quickly implement this very simple app here. And so you could see here that the data is coming from the get streamlit faker command, which is from the streamlit faker library, which automatically generates fake data. So let's have a look here. So the lines of code that you see here will generate this Streamlit app using arbitrary data. So you might ask, why do you want to generate fake data and create the app using the typical widgets or input widgets or commands in Streamlit? Well, the answer is very simple. Sometimes you want to create an app very quickly where you want to lay out the elements of the web app, and then you want to populate that with actual data at a later point in time. So you could think of this as kind of like a prototype of your Streamlit app, a prototype that allows you to go with the flow of your ideas where you could quickly implement an app at the speed of your thought, as opposed to having an idea, but then having to figure out what text you want to type in. So just thinking about the text that you want to type in will actually take some time away from you actually building the app, which is laying the essential layout or foundation of the app. So here, you might want to use the subheader command and you might want to follow it using a markdown text followed by a select box, which will allow you to select some input widgets, input data, followed by a slider widget, allowing the user to specify input data, particularly the numerical values, and also display a map here. So as you can see, you could generate this in only a few seconds. So let me show you. I'm going to clone this entire repo. So I'm going to fork the repo here. And I'll leave it as Streamlit Faker. And I'll create a fork. And then I'll go to Streamlit Community Cloud. Streamlit Faker, Streamlit App, Deploy. So this will allow me to essentially replicate the entire repo here, or essentially this particular web app. So if you don't want to clone it, you could just open this to have a demo that you can play around with. Or you could go here to faker.streamlitapp.com. And this is what it looks like. The select box, the slider widget, and the map widget here, which you could interact with. This is the subheader. This is the markdown right here. And data is taken from here, stfaker, which is coming from the get streamlit faker command, which was imported from streamlit faker. And it's saved into this stfaker variable. And so when you use it, you'll call stfaker dot and then the name of the streamlit command. As easy as that. So let's have a look at the app. Okay, so it's exactly the same thing as we've seen in this demo. So let me head over back to the repo, GitHub. So let's say that I want to modify this. So 
And let's say that I just want to have here, delete everything else. Okay. Simple, or just say example. Uh, let's run the figure. And I'll leave here and I'll leave the session state seed number to 12. Well, actually, I, I could just delete this. And I'll also delete this because we're not using it here. And all commands, we're not using it. So essentially that, only 12 lines of code here. And we could quickly implement a app here. Let's have a look at the app. Right here. All right, and there you go. This is a very simple example of Stream Figure app in action and we actually built this in only a few seconds where we just forked the repo and then connected with the Streamlit community cloud and then modified the Streamlit app file here to have a very simple working example. And there you have it. This app is working. So let me know in the comments down below how you're going to use the Streamlit Faker library for your own app building endeavor. And if you're still watching, drop a ninja emoji in the comment section. And also don't forget to hit on the subscribe button, smash the like icon, hit on the notification bell. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.